What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we are back with brand new WWE action figure news. Now, this probably should have came out yesterday. Should have had a video talking about this yesterday. However, didn't have the time for it. Didn't have the time for it. It was kind of busy, and I do apologize for that. However, we're back today, and I'm excited for it because, like, it kind of came, like, right after the news that we broke uh, two days ago, I do believe, when we talked about the Eddie Guerrero Ultimate Edition, the new Ruthless Aggression figures that are coming that we're so hyped about. We had, like, an extra list that was kind of left out of that news. So the same list, but more pages, if you will. So it's kind of wild. We'll get into all the different details. But if you guys missed our video from the other day talking about the new Ruthless Aggression Ultimates and Elites that are coming, about the leaked out list and what we may see at WrestleMania Access coming up in a couple weeks, which I will be there. If you guys are attending WrestleMania, let me know down in the comment section below. Look forward to meeting a lot of you. Should be an epic weekend. Cannot wait for it. However, man, going back to this list, you guys saw this list the other day where they had some like highlights and it was like, a Walmart redemption list where it's like you can buy these figures and scan a QR code when you buy the figure and you can apply it to your WWE 2K23 and you can download apparently the figure into the game. Very wild and different thing. I think it's awesome. I think it's really creative and a nice crossover with 2K and I think it's awesome. But we had more pages of this supposed deal going on here and they leaked out some more elites that we did not know about that we're probably going to know about at Axis in a couple weeks and I'm excited for it, man. And of course, like there's plenty. Like, first of all, we don't know what a lot of the stuff looks like, so it's still it's still really exciting for me. And not only do we not know what it looks like, but there's probably more surprises than we're leading on. And you know, the crowdfunder and things of that nature. Nobody knows what the hell's going on with that anyway. So there's still tons to be excited for. It doesn't matter, you know, exactly if we know things are specifically coming because we know things are coming all the time, and we always get hyped for them anyway, and we empty our wallets. So let's shut the hell up and dive into this one, man. If you guys will look at this list right here, I don't think there's anything specific on this list, but if you just look at this list, right, you guys can tell that these are elites that we already knew about. If you go down the list, you guys can see there. It's like Elite 98 at the top with Orton, Finn Balor, Mandy Rose, Rick Boogs, Farouk Asad, Seth Rollins. Now you're getting into Elite 99 with Riddle, Brock Lesnar, Happy Corbin, Queen Zelina, Boogeyman. Then you get into Elite 100, right? Andre the Giant, John Cena, The Rock, Rey Mysterio, Becky Lynch, Stunning Steve Austin. Then you get into Elite 101, Cody Rhodes, Kevin Owens, Johnny Knoxville, Mr. America, Sonya Deville, Rick Ricochet. Then you get into Elite Series 102, which we do not have yet, but we know it's coming, right? You got Edge, Austin Theory, Gunther, Sami Zayn, Rhea Ripley, Commissioner Foley, and then if you go to that next wave right there, you would think, oh, this is Elite 103, but according to the things we already know about and the upcoming Elite list, you guys will see it says Undertaker, Shawn Michaels, Seth Rollins, Batista, then going on to the next page, it says King Harley Race, DDP, and we know if we compare that to our Greatest Hits leak and release that we talked about not too long ago in our like big news video the other day. We already knew this is the upcoming greatest hits wave in entirety. Again, we've already known this. We just don't know what the figures are. That's the Seth Rollins and the figures that we're hyped for. Hoping it's Elite 45 Rollins. That's that greatest hits wave right there. If you keep going down the list, however, you guys will see that it says Bobby Lashley, Roman Reigns, Montez Ford, Angelo Dawkins, Liv Morgan. Now that set is supposedly Elite Series 103, but if you guys will notice, in that same Elite 103, if you guys are noticing, Bobby Bobby Lashley, Roman Reigns, Montez Ford, Angelo Dawkins, Liv Morgan. That is only five figures, but if you continue down, you will see that it says Rob Van Dam. So that is a new figure, a new RVD. They're plugging RVD into Elite Series 103, apparently. So what's very interesting about this is the last time we saw Elite Series 103, we were told, or that we knew of, or that, you know, what was rumored to be out there was going to be a Stardust Elite, but it looks like that Stardust Elite is no longer on the table. Now, I remember we talked about this in in that news video, I remember us saying I thought that Stardust, or Cody Rhodes for that matter, I thought Cody Rhodes had a specific thing in his contract that said that they could not talk about Stardust or that they, you know, and that was just a rumor that I had heard about, but it may have been true. Maybe they wanted to put a Stardust out, but they couldn't do it because of this, but Stardust is no longer on the list, and it looks like Rob Van Dam is going to be replacing Stardust in Elite Series 103. Now, I'm a huge Rob Van Dam fan. You guys know that I love RVD. I love his figures. They're very fun. They're amazing. He has so many attires that they can make, and I think that much like John Cena and stuff like that, man, that's one of those guys that they need to just print him out. You know, anytime they can stick him in a line, they need to do so, and I love to see RVD coming back around after his canceled chase, you know, and we got the Ruthless Aggression Elite. We have the Ultimate Edition that is obviously coming soon. We know about that. We don't know what it looks like, but RVD being put into Elite Series 103 is huge for me personally. I think that's great. I honestly would prefer 
prefer a Rob Van Dam again over a Stardust Elite. Anybody else can let me know, but I think a Stardust Elite should come down the line because since Cody's back, I think a WrestleMania 32 Stardust would be chef's kiss, to be honest with you. Maybe that's something they can think about later. But it looks like to me, based off this list, as the figures are in order, this was our rumored Elite 103, but Stardust has been replaced with Rob Van Dam. Now, if we continue down the list, you guys will see that it says AJ Styles, Drew McIntyre, Solo Sokoa, Dakota Kai, Braun Breaker, and Rick Steiner. Now, we already knew about these. Again, we knew about these. We knew that it was Elite Series 104, and that looks to be correct. Nothing has changed with that line. All the names are the same. All these different things here are perfect. It says WWE Elite Collection. This is nothing out of the ordinary. Nobody's being replaced, but if you go one step below that, you will notice that we have some new names here, or actually we have one name, and maybe this is an added figure to the list. Maybe this is either A, a collector's edition, or B, this is going to be an added figure to the wave. Maybe there's seven figures in the wave. It says Bad Bunny. Bad Bunny getting an elite figure here. Now, I don't know if this is going to be an exclusive. Again, I don't know if it's going to be collector's edition. You know, uh, all those different things. But this figure is going to be highly sought after, man. Re regardless if this is a main elite line figure, whether it's Elite 105, Elite 106, maybe it's a collector's edition, like I said. Maybe it's an exclusive somewhere. I would think that it would probably be an Elite 105. Maybe that's the only figure they have out there right now or maybe it is a bonus figure to Elite Series 104, but Bad Bunny is there. So you have AJ Styles, Drew McIntyre, Solo Sokoa, Dakota Kai, Braun Breaker, Rick Steiner, and Bad Bunny getting a new figure. Now you're probably saying, oh, it's just down there, but if you continue on, you will notice that this is Elite Series 89 because right below Bad Bunny, it says Drew McIntyre, Dominic Mysterio, Bobby Lashley, Damian Priest, Nia Jax, Sergeant Slaughter, The Goon, and that is all Elite 89 right there. Underneath that, you got Randy Orton, Jey Uso, Mustafa Ali, Big Boss Man, Bronson Reed, Reckoning, Kevin Owens. You guys can see there that they're clearly following in the path of Elite Lines from 89 on upward because if you keep going down the list, you're going to recognize names from Elite Waves that we already knew about. You keep going, you flip to the next page, you're into, you know, Elite 92, you go into Elite 93. You move on to Elite 94, Elite 95, and it keeps going and going and going until you do get to the Greatest Hits wave. Then it goes back to Elite 95. And then on this last page, which is very interesting, it gets into Elite Series 96, and it says Hogan, Nakamura, Braganoff, Kofi Kingston, Dewdrop. Then you get into a long list of Top Picks Elites. Now, this is interesting. We have a bunch of Top Picks Elites here that we already knew about. Going all the way down till you see Roman Reigns, Jimmy Uso, and The Rock. And then right after that, it says Rey Mysterio, Riddle and Cody Rhodes and then after that it goes back to old style elite top picks waves that we've gotten over the last couple years so if you guys weren't aware just the other week they released the basics of top picks and it was Matt Riddle Cody Rhodes and Roman Reigns and we thought oh I guess they just this must have been a you know a mess up I guess they were just putting Riddle in the basics line and Cody in the basics line and Jimmy Roman and The Rock were going to be the elites but apparently we're still getting elites of Rey Mysterio Matt Riddle and Cody Rhodes in the elite line so I guess they're going to copy that wave besides Roman Reigns. They're going to replace him with Rey Mysterio and put him in the Elite wave. I know they're trying to get Cody Rhodes figures out there. Uh, I, we all thought it was kind of collectively weird that Matt Riddle would be in the top picks wave, even though we like it. You know, I'm all for repaints of his figures. I like his figures a lot. Get a different shirt, get a different attire. I like his figures because they always come with so many damn accessories. But this is very interesting news, man. So we had a few different elites added to this list here that I think are, are great. So, so far on this list, you have have a brand new Bad Bunny Elite that we didn't know was coming. We have RVD being plugged into Elite 103, supposedly. It's just allegedly. We don't have anything confirmed just yet. Probably we'll have more news on that at WrestleMania Access. Maybe we'll get a render image or an announcement or something of that nature. So Rob Van Dam being plugged into Elite Series 103. And then, last but not least, we have Matt Riddle, Cody Rhodes, and Rey Mysterio being in another top picks wave, possibly coming later this year. And also, we also had some screenshots news from Steve from Mattel Action Figure Attack. And somebody asked him here, they said, could we see a Ruthless Aggression Goldberg Ultimate Edition in the future? And he said, well, remember, the RA line is coming to a close at the end of 2023. So if we did do a Ruthless Aggression Ultimate Edition Goldberg, it'd have to appear somewhere else in the line. So the Ruthless Aggression wave is coming in hot and it's fizzling out. So unfortunately, the line is coming to an end at the end of the year, but that doesn't mean that we're not going to have announced figures. We already know about some of the waves coming up. I think they're probably going to go seven or eight series. 
And so we just have to enjoy them while they're here, get everything we can out of the line, and just enjoy these figures. And of course, they're going to, seeing how much these figures sell, seeing the intrigue to the Ultimates and the Elites and things of that nature, they're obviously going to include more Ruthless Aggression into other things. And we have our crowdfunders and things like that. So Ruthless Aggression fans, you know, don't get too upset. I'm right there with you. It's one of, it's probably my favorite era of all time. Definitely up there, you know, it, answers can change here and there. But yeah, that is, uh, that is sad to see, but uh, I look forward to. I look forward to every single figure from the Ruthless Aggression Wave, and I just can't wait to see these damn Ultimates. I am losing my mind, man. Nonetheless, before we get out of here, man, I did want to make an announcement. First of all, a huge shout out to our patrons over on our Patreon for the YouTube channel if you guys are interested in that. We do a figure giveaway every single month. We have tons of perks. You can get lots of bonus content for the channel, sneak peeks, all kinds of other stuff over there. Just click the link in the description below to the Patreon. Check out the tiers. Check out the membership list. If some of that stuff interests you definitely go ahead and sign up for it huge thank you to our patrons already gave away a one of five thousand darby allen already this month and next month we're going to increase it to two figures given away and not only that i'm also going to be doing a giveaway where if you go to the pro wrestling tees my damn toy store and you buy a t-shirt your name will be entered into a drawing for a wwe action figure giveaway and that figure will be named later on and i think i'm going to do an ultimate edition i don't know exactly what figure i'm going to do just yet but probably going to be something out of my personal collection i'll let you guys know later on thought about giving away another chase aew figure but if you guys are interested in that patreon and merch links are down in the description below man i appreciate you guys so very much nonetheless man i'm getting the hell out of here let me know your thoughts on this news down in the comment section below but i'm getting out of here man thank you for watching subscribe to the channel follow me on instagram twitter and tiktok at my damn toys i'll see you guys in the next video have a blessed one and i'll see you next time we'll never be